Hello again, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we're going to take a look at the startup and shutdown of container and pluggable databases. Startup and shutdown of a container database is the same as it's always been for regular instances. The SQL plus startup and shutdown commands are available when connected to the root container as a privileged user. In this example, we're using a shutdown immediate and a regular startup. If we connect to a pluggable database as a privileged user, most of the SQL plus commands are still available to us, but they're only relevant to the pluggable database now, they don't stop and start the whole instance. Since the scope is limited to a pluggable database, the shutdown and startup are really quick and we get a different message from them. The alter pluggable database command can be used from the root container or a specific pluggable database. In this example, we're not specifying the pluggable database name, so it assumes we mean the current pluggable database. From the root container, we have to include the pluggable database name clause. In this example, we're using a comma separated list of pluggable databases. The all keyword allows us to perform the action against all user created pluggable databases. The accept clause allows us to list those pluggable databases that we don't want to be included in the action. The current state of the pluggable database can be saved, so it returns to that state after a restart of the container database. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more.